stay tuned. There's a very intense story coming your way. Hey guys, it's Brittany, and welcome back to Britmas 2020. <laughs> Is this too low and too bright? I don't know, we need some brightness down here right. Now before we get into this video, I am super excited to say that this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. Now guys, I have partnered with Ana Luisa Jewelry this is my third time, I believe, partnering with them on my channel, and I'm super excited about it. I love partnering with them. I love working with them. I love collabing with them. Now, recently, they sent me three beautiful necklaces. I'm wearing one right now, of course. It is the heart with a key, which is just totally me. And I will show you the other ones. So guys, Anna Luisa are currently having their biggest sale of the year, their 2020 holiday sale, which is ending on December 26th. So guys, enjoy their seamless end of year shopping experience with ready to gift boxes, personalized gift notes, and speedy worldwide shipping. Make sure to treat yourself and the ones you love to sustainable jewelry and discover their unique designs starting at $39. And if you are in the US, you can buy one, get one 40% off, plus a free travel case on orders of $150 plus. And like I said, their pieces range from $30 $39 to higher end pieces. So really, there's something for everybody. So guys, what are you waiting for? Ana Luisa Jewelry is the perfect gift and treat. And make sure to check out their holiday, exclusive holiday sale, which I will leave down below and use my code. Now guys, it is time to get right on into the advent calendar. So let's see what we got today. It's probably another ball. Actually, a bear now on the 24th you get a giant bear in this advent calendar but yay oh my god i'm so excited this is what i've been waiting for they should be giving bears out in every single door like why don't they do that <laughs> so guys are you ready to get into some of the most creepiest honestly the creepiest scariest rarest maybe they're not rare i don't know i think they're pretty rare because i've never seen these pictures before Ever that are so creepy like they freak me out yes I've already seen them maybe I should have waited till on camera but okay I'm actually gonna add in this picture as well now this one right here isn't a rare picture I've seen this one before so many times I don't think it's real yeah it's creepy with that figure but I don't know there's just something about it it's a weird photo bomb with a spirit perhaps but I, I just like I don't think it's real I think it's been altered in some way if I'm wrong then I apologize but I just I don't know there's something weird about the picture it is creepy though now this picture right here this this is something else so the lady that took this picture her name is Denise Russell she took this picture in 1997 and the lady that you see in this picture is Denise's grandmother and the man in the picture behind her is her grandfather, and her grandfather died in 1984. Moving on to Victoria. I don't know why I'm going like this. So I'm assuming you guys are aware of family photos from the Victorian era and how many of those featured in these pictures are actually dead. They're actually dead in the picture. Like those are corpses that you see in those pictures. It was a common practice to get pictures with the newly deceased to have one final memory of them before they were laid to rust. So this girl that you see, she's dead. This next picture is known as the masked woman. There isn't really much of a background of this picture. Like was it taken around Halloween? Like is she wearing a Halloween costume? You know why? It's just kind of I mean, it's not kind of, it really is eerie. They even suggest that maybe she was in a play. I, what kind of play is that when you're, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. It looks like a Halloween costume to me, but at the same time, I'm living. Okay, this next picture, I would say this is my favorite out of this entire group of pictures. This is a family that are pointing in a room of their house to where they saw the opening of a portal. A portal to another dimension that they witnessed opening back in 1976. These next photos were taken by a man named William Hope in the 1920s. And he claimed that he could document the dead with his camera. The one on the right freaks me out the most 
but I'm living, obviously. This is a picture of four glowing UFOs that are hovering in the sky at 9.35 a.m. on July 15th, 1952 over Salem, Massachusetts. Leave your thoughts down below about aliens, what your thoughts are on aliens. I kind of go back and forth. There's some days I'm just like, oh my God, aliens are 100% real. And then there's other times I'm just like, I don't know. But I remember years ago, there was this woman that I always would see around. And I made a video about her, I don't know, years ago on my channel. I think I've mentioned her a few times. And I legit, at the time, believed that this woman was indeed an alien. Like, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I just, she had to be an alien. The way she would talk to me, and it's almost like she knew that I knew that she's an alien and that she's not from planet Earth. Because I remember this, this is what I said in my video. This is something I just remember so vividly because I was trying to test her out one day to see like how she would react if I had mentioned something. So I mentioned this in my videos when I've talked about her. And um, a very nice person, like, you know, no hate or anything. A very nice person. But I swear to you, she's not from this planet. <laughs> But anyways, I told her that I really like her um, her earrings. And she was like, thanks, they're different, aren't they? And when she said that to me, it's like she was saying, yeah, girl, I know that you know that I'm not from Earth. Because I remember in my head when she said that, I was like, yeah, no shit, they're not from here. Like, you got them from Mars or something. Like, that conversation freaks me out to this day. I just thought she was an alien. Really, I don't know. Maybe she wasn't, maybe I'm crazy. I mean, I am crazy, but I legit thought, no. And I just, it freaked me out because I truly thought that she knew that I knew her secret and she was just keeping tabs on me all the time to make sure I wouldn't reveal it to people. Even though I did tell people, I was like, I swear to God, she's an alien. And then people thought I was crazy. So I just kept it to myself. And then I made YouTube videos about it being like, I swear there's an alien around here. <laughs> So I don't know, I haven't seen that woman in a very long time. Can you imagine I see her though, like tomorrow or something? I think I'm just gonna leave the video at that. Um, if you want me to react to more creepy pictures that are known as like the scariest, rarest, creepiest, most disturbing pictures, then let me know. But I just thought that was a good way to end it with that alien story. Oh my God, I forget what video that's called. I'll probably leave it above. <laughs> oh man, I don't know, I don't care though. Like, I, okay, I know that I, you know, I have so much fun on my channel, but I'm telling you, if this woman was, like, I just, I don't think she was from this planet. There was just something so off about her. She was so nice, though, like I said, but I don't know. And I remember she always wore these huge sunglasses. And what made me notice her was um, a long time ago, I was, like, a huge fan of Sylvia Brown, and I saw her... Now I don't even, you know, go to psychics or anything. I mean, I like psychic mediums, but like psychics that claim to like tell your future and stuff, I don't know. I just stay away from it. Long story, I've just really changed, even though like you guys know, like I've been to psychics so many times and I just can't do it anymore. I've just completely changed and transformed this year, my mentality and just, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna make a video about like manifestation, like a part three, because I think I've made two videos already or something. Maybe just made one. I don't know. Anyways, Sylvia Brown said, when the aliens come to Earth, this is when I saw her in like 2009, so it was a long time ago, but she said, when the aliens come to Earth, was it 2009? I think it was. Yeah. She said, though, when the aliens come to Earth, they're going to be wearing big sunglasses, and you're going to know if it's an alien. And they're wearing big sunglasses so you can't see the giant eyes behind them. So I think that's what stayed with me. And then this woman was always wearing these giant black sunglasses. And you know, I love big bug sunglasses. I wear them all the time because I have such a big face. So I wear huge sunglasses all the time. But she just like, it, I don't know. I see people with bug sunglasses all the time. But I was so drawn to her in a way that there's something not right here. Like she's not a human. So that's what caught my attention. And then I remembered what Sylvia Brown said. Sylvia Brown said about aliens coming to Earth. Maybe she's wrong. I don't know. Have they come to Earth? 
I believe so, but like I'm just kind of like, I don't know if aliens are real, I don't know. But then I'm like, but wait, this woman had to be an alien, so like I don't make sense, you know? I believe in aliens though, I don't know. I guess sometimes I'm just like, I don't know. Because I'm not so into aliens that I am with ghosts, you know? I've made a few alien videos here and there on my channel, but I'm obsessed with ghosts. Like, I live for ghost spirits. I love them so much. But this woman never took off her glasses. She never took them off. There would be like a tornado outside, an F5 tornado, and she would still be wearing those glasses. It'd be nighttime and an F5 tornado comes down, and she'd still be wearing those glasses. A huge thunderstorm, tsunami hits, she's still wearing those glasses. The glasses were just huge and they were just dark, like so dark. You could never see her eyes underneath. So I remember I was trying to see the corners of her eyes. Because you know if someone's wearing sunglasses and they're like facing this way, you can kind of see their eyes if you could like, kind of look in from the side. So I was seeing like, is it a big like black circle thing? You know what I mean? But I didn't see that. Seriously, I was studying this woman <laughs> anytime I saw her because I was like, there's something not right. There's something not right. But like I said, she knew that I knew that she's not human. <laughs> if that was the case or I was imagining it, I don't know. Actually, no, I do know. I know how she looked at me. I know how she talked to me. You know, she was very friendly, like I said, but she knew the look that she gave me was, I know, girl, I know that you know what I am and you better not say nothing. And anytime she saw me, she would always come up to me. It's almost like she was saying, so have you told anybody? Cause girl, I'm watching. And yes, I did tell people because I was freaked out. And did I see any other aliens with big sunglasses? No, it was just her. So I don't know if she's like the leader. I don't know. I swear to God, people are going to be like, what is wrong with this girl? I'm just telling you guys. This was years ago, a long time ago. But it will forever stay with me. And I hope I bump into her again. Imagine I got her to be on my channel for an interview. Be like, hey, I used to think you were an alien. Is that true? And then she like rips off her sunglasses and she actually is an alien. <laughs> Oh my god, the next Britmas, I should go to space. I should be abducted and then go to space. I'm in hell right now, but I should go to space uh, next year. That'd be a good one. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed this little story time, even though I have told this story a few times on my channel. Maybe twice on my channel, but years ago. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Once again, I want to say thank you to Anna Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video. And guys, make sure that you check out their exclusive holiday sale, which ends on December 26th. I know that you will love everything. I will leave the link down below and you can use my code. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in, oh my God, my fake snow. People are actually living for the fake snow, so I'm living too. I love it. It's just something magical. But I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, and Krampus needs to talk. It's been kind of quiet lately. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. <sighs> oh, happy Britmas, and then I'm supposed to blow it. Whatever. The alien talk, I swear it got to me.